We are team Gelduin Cell, and our project is the optimization of the Gelduin Bifold Flow Cell. Gelduin is a world leader in manufacturing windows and doors for use in homes and businesses. One product line that Gelduin offers is their bifold doors, shown here on the right. A bifold door is a door that has been bifurcated in the middle, with the two halves of the door attached to each other with a hinge. This makes the door fold in on itself as it is opened. This style of door is commonly used for closets and residential homes. In the Gelduin manufacturing facility in Atlanta, Georgia, the process of cutting the bifold doors was previously performed in a different location within the plant than the processes of hinging, boxing, wrapping, and palletizing. In order to streamline production, Gelduin introduced new machinery into the hinging cell. These new machines allowed for the splitting, painting, sanding, and curing of bifold doors within the same cell as the other processes. However, the new splitting and paint processes had a longer cycle time than the rest of the cell and created a bottleneck. Our team was tasked with optimizing the cell for one-piece flow with the goal of increasing throughput to match customer demand. To accomplish this, we came up with two designs. The first is a positioning bar, which is attached to the infeed conveyor of the paint machine. After doors are split, the halves are stacked on top of each other and placed onto the conveyor, but the painting machine can only process one panel at a time, so the stack needs to be separated. The positioning bar separates the stack without requiring action from the operator, reducing material handling and the cycle time of loading the paint machine. The interior of the bar is covered with a rubber sheet to reduce the risk of damaging the doors. Our second design is the stacking table, which is attached to the end of the paint machine's outfeed conveyor. The bed of the table is covered with a UHMW sheet, which is a smooth plastic that allows the panels to slide across the surface. As the panels exit the paint machine, they fall onto the stacking table. This automatically returns the panels into a stack so that they can then be loaded into the hinging machine. To prevent the table from overflowing and reduce risk of operator injury, a sensor, which detects the presence of a completed stack, was attached to the table. This sensor stops the conveyor when a stack is detected and prevents the line from moving until the operator has removed the stack and made room for the next door. Through the implementation of these designs, our team was able to make significant reductions to the cycle time for loading both the paint and hinge machines, increasing throughput by approximately 18%. Additionally, we were able to improve ergonomic performance, reducing the NIOSH lifting index value below the target of 1.0 for both processes. All of this was accomplished without needing to add additional staff and while maintaining current levels of quality. In conjunction with additional modifications to the splitting and paint processes, our designs will help the bifold flow cell achieve the desired throughput and meet customer demand.